This time on Make It Mine, we meet Brookdale resident Wayne Peterson. Wayne's an Army veteran who's lived at University Park for over a year and a half. As an expert fly fisherman, Wayne is highly skilled at hand tying flies. Well, I played golf and I never got any better playing golf. So I got rid of my golf clubs and decided I'd try fly fishing. And I've been to Alaska three different times. We brought back 250 pounds of halibut. Really good eating. Wayne's current workstation is tucked away in his closet, so designer Elizabeth Berry and Adrielle Graham will be challenged to transform Wayne's bedroom into a dual-purpose space. Their commitment to providing approachable luxury will give Wayne both inspiration and relaxation. So keep watching to see how they pull it off. Well, hello. Hi. Been expecting you. Yes. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Thank you Hope for having us. Hope things are going us. well. And these lovely ladies are your designers, so they're going to transform your space today. Well, you got your work cut out for you. <laughs> We're <laughs> excited. Yes. Yeah. I can hardly wait. Yeah. Sure it's going to be exciting. Well, we know that you're an expert fly fisher, so do you want to just tell us a little bit about how you got into that? Well, about uh, 20 years or so ago, I started fly fishing, and then I started tying my flies. You can see here that some of them that I've tied. So delicate. Yeah, amazing. Right. Yeah. These lovely designers are here to give you a special place that you can work on hand tying your flies. Other than the back of my walk-in closet. Yeah, I heard well, that, that that's where you were awesome. working. That would be awesome. Thank you No, so much. I mean, this looks like you need space, you need good lighting, you that's, need a whole setup to be able to do That's exactly right, right, absolutely. And you'll, you'll see that later on when I tie you a woolly booger and oh all this a woolly fun booger stuff. i don't know what that is that sounds kind of scary do you mind showing us um the bedroom and the closet area that you're working in now not at all i'd yeah. be happy to do you want to go take a look yeah, yes to see that. And presently i in that walk-in closet way in the back so Wow. When I get uh, all that fly tie and stuff out of there, it'll give me more room for storage. Yeah, you so. can have more cowboy hats <laughs> That's back right, there if you want. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. You actually have a pretty good amount of space in here, so I think good. that yeah. they're yeah. going to have a lot to play with, right? Be a piece of cake for you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Bro. Well, remember this, Wayne, okay? Because when you and me come back here later today, this is going to be completely transformed. You're not going to knock out any walls or anything. <laughs> not today. <laughs> okay, good. All not right, bad. very good. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. you and me have a fun day planned with fishing. Yep. We're gonna you're gonna yep. teach me how to do that fly booger. Fly to something booger. Good good try. <laughs> how about woolly booger? Woolly booger! <laughs> it had booger in there, you were right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right, ladies, well we'll leave you guys to it and we'll see you later today. Yeah, we're you. excited. Have a great have time. Yeah. yeah. You Are you ready, too. Wayne? Okay. Let's All right. go. Yep. Wayne's ask to move his work desk out of his closet and into his bedroom is pretty simple. The main challenge is going to be converting his bedroom into a multifunctional space, a place where he can enjoy his passion and a place to rest. To accomplish this, we're going to bring in a large desk, one with more workspace. We're going to put up some beadboard, upcycle his headboard, and paint him an original watercolor, one that is tailored specifically to Wayne. All right, ladies, we're really excited to be here today. We are redoing this bedroom for Wayne, and there's a lot of things we got to do. First, we've got to clear everything out, and then you guys are going to be doing a little project of repurposing some of the furniture with paint while Elizabeth works on a wall treatment back here. And I'll hop between everyone to help out wherever I can. All right, let's get to it. Let's do it. Let's go. So let's space these out across the wall first. One of the main features that we have going on is this beadboard treatment on Wayne's headboard wall. We've painted ahead of time so that we wouldn't be painting all day. It's gonna really anchor the room with some architectural interest. She's in. One down, 500 more to go. No, it's just kidding. <laughs> so this feature is really gonna enhance the room by bringing in a lot of warmth and making it feel more custom and tailored to Wayne. And it's super easy to remove, renter friendly, doesn't do a lot of damage to the walls. So really a great DIY feature. Good. Yep. Yes. 
Wayne, thank you for sitting down and chatting with me. Of course. I see all these wonderful photos and I just want to get to know you a little better. Okie dokie. My parents lived on a farm and ranch then. So you've grown up around animals, been outside your whole life. Yep, yep, sure have. Now, were these from your time in the army? Yes, these were taken in uh, Germany. That's t the tank that I drove. Oh my goodness, what was that like? Big boy toys. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, no, it was great. So tell me about fishing. I mean, look at this fish. Did you catch that? Yeah, that was in uh, Yakutat, Alaska. That's a halibut. That one was probably, oh, between 85 and 90 pounds, something like that. Yeah. Oh my goodness, right. that's crazy. Yeah. How many fishing trips a year would you say you take? Uh, probably four or five, something like that. Is there particular locations that you like to go? Uh, wherever there's fish. <laughs> Tying those flies, it seems like it just takes a lot of concentration and you have to be very sort of precise with yeah, everything you're doing. Right. Skill and dexterity. Yeah. You were just teaching me all sorts of new fantastic <laughs> yeah, right. hobbies. I love Wait it. till you get involved with the woolly boogers though. Ugh. I'm scared. This woolly booger sounds, I don't know what I'm, they, they what can, it's going to be. They could be ornery. Okay. Yeah, we'll get you into it. Yeah, I can't wait. So Wayne has a lot of really good pieces, pieces that we can upcycle to give it more vibrancy. It's really great to upcycle furniture to give it a new life and a new look, and it's also great for our planet. We decided to only paint the fronts to just modernize it a little bit. We didn't feel like the whole thing needed to be painted. We actually really loved this wood tone contrasting against the beadboard back here and it just ties into what we're trying to do for Wayne, bring nature indoors, and the wood really accomplishes that. So we're getting this, starting to get this bed together, and it's another piece that was Wayne's that we've decided to upcycle, and one really awesome detail that we added are these leather straps that are just giving another natural texture into the room. The team is really on a roll. While they keep working, I'm going to join Wayne and his wife, Gail, for a game of blackjack. Hundred and five. Come on, a hundred and five. Ooh, look at that. Hit me easy, please, sir. You don't understand plain English. Do you? There's the blackjack. Oh. Ah! Look at that! <laughs> Way to go, Woo. Anita! Beginner's luck. I think you're right. There's nothing to this game. I'm ready for Vegas. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. I'm going. So, Gail, are you excited for the renovations? Yes, I am. I can't wait for you to see the space, the before and after. Nothing is left? Well, I think everything will be there, but it might be rearranged. Oh, okay. Oh, well, he can go fishing. Exactly, so he can go fishing. Well, you're on a roll, so I'm gonna let you folks get back to playing. Thank you guys so much for showing me a little bit about Blackjack. Our pleasure. And Wayne, I'll see you later, and I expect for you to come back with a pile full of money. Not a problem. Okay. Elizabeth and Adrielli have been hard at work on Wayne's big ass, a longer workstation for his fly time. I'm going to check in on their progress. Looks good. Yeah. Hello. No Hi. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? This looks amazing. Yeah, that's his super awesome workstation. Yeah. So, well, yep. it looks like you guys are in the middle of yep, yep. working on hard, our last so, leg. <laughs> yes. I'll let you get back to it, and I can't wait to see you soon. Thanks right. for see stopping. You soon. See ya. I'm really excited about this workspace. It's a much, much larger space for him to tie his flies and then to also do any other kind of office work that he needs to do. And right now we're putting up some of these accessories on these pegboard. You know, we're kind of just playing around with the layout and then we're just gonna get all of these things right where we want it and then put the final touch on it just for him. I had the pleasure of creating a custom watercolor painting for Wayne, and I want to show you how you can recreate that process. Whatever hobby you might have, just kind of look for a, a very simplified silhouette image. Just following the dark outlines, tracing this shape with a pencil. All right, now that I have my shape drawn out, I can do the background. 
no pressure. You really can just like have fun and play with this. And then when this dries, we'll just fill in this so it's dark like this. So now the patience game, we just have to let it dry. <laughs> And this is called the Wooly Booger. Wooly Booger, because it looks woolly. Wooly Booger. Well, it looks prettier than the name, I would say. <laughs> this is amazing. I oh, am uh, very excited to go fishing. So okay. I'm going to test out my Wooly Booger. Wooly Booger? It sounds yeah. great. Awesome. Yay, can't wait. Yep, right in here. All right, you lead the way. There we go. Oh, and then there you we just go. Strip it in. Now bring it back. Good. Kind of did it. Yeah, you okay. did. Oh. Did you get a fish? No, what is that? <laughs> oh, that's just a leaf. Yeah. Back with one hand. There you go. There. Good oh, job. Good. Good job. Yeah, yeah, I did it, right? You did great. It. Can I get a high five? Yeah. Yay. Good job. We did it. <laughs> so like that. All right, now let me see the casual throw. Yeah, I'm liking that more. I think I do too. So, great, we're on the same page. Great. Yeah. I think we nailed it. Yeah. You ready to go get them? Yeah, let's go get Wayne and Anita. All right. Big moment. Yay! Well, Wayne, we had such a great day today, right? Yeah, absolutely. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed myself too, and we got the fun part of the job because these ladies were really hard at work all day. I absolutely. I'm yeah. sure they were. Working all day long just for you. I'm ready. Are you ready to go in? Let's go. All right, after you. Okie dokie. Oh my God. Unbelievable. Look at this. Do you like it? I love it. Oh my goodness. You guys, this is an incredible. We created a larger work surface for you. Yeah. That way you can get out of that closet. You have a long enough workspace to have your computer yep. as well as your fly tying good, station. Good, good. And then we kept a lot of your pieces. You had some great pieces. And we kind of upcycled them a little well, bit. You did. Do you I recognize did. that piece over there? I do. That's your I headboard. Do. Yeah, right. So we just wow. painted it and added I some know. leather strapping. Yeah, it's incredible. You guys in the wainscoting? Yeah, it's a, it's a beadboard treatment. Bead board, and yeah. we hammered all of that in for you. Well, I tell you what, <laughs> with that little tack hammer, you did a wonderful job. <laughs> and yeah. then I made this painting for you. You I did? You painted that? that? Yeah. I did. Who's the subject? You, of course. No. <laughs> Who else could it be? Great. Yeah, right. this is an outdoor man's room now. I can feel that well, when I come in, right? Well, this is a man's room. It's a no man's doubt. room. It's a fisherman's <laughs> room. Yeah. I tell you what, you guys nailed it. So this happy to hear you so much. Great. <laughs> Thank you guys. This is crazy. We're going to step out okay. and send in your friends and family so you guys can all enjoy the space together. Good. Love it. What do you think? I think it looks great. Oh, that looks fantastic. I think it's great. Yeah. This is awesome. Isn't it though? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Good, Wayne. That's awesome. <laughs> One of the ladies painted that picture up there. Wow. Oh, that's neat. Painted it. Yeah. Isn't that neat? Nice. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. That and is nice. Isn't it nice? Work surface? Oh, you know, I don't know if you're ever going to see Wayne. He's just going to be hiding that's in his right. room. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne is totally hooked on his new space. Elizabeth and Adrielli reeled him in with a room that reflects his passion for the outdoors. If you like resident stories like these, make sure you come back for more episodes of Make It Mine.